Hi everyone, I'm here to help you build your own PC and get away with these expensive prices. Okay, so we have the CPU cooler, uh, we have the CPU power installed, we have the 24 pin installed, we have the power supply, or I should say the power cord for the GPU installed. Basically, we have everything that we need. And yeah, that's about it. I'm pretty sure that we can do some convincing 1440p gaming that shouldn't be any sort of issues. A little longer than a few minutes later. So guys, it seems that, well, the computer that I put together, it doesn't work. Uh, I've narrowed the problem or the issue down to the flashback that I have to do on the BIOS. So basically I have to update the BIOS because every time I turn on the PC, although I have basically swapped the RAM by this point, swapped the GPU with a uh, known working GPU, I uh, even went up with one stick of RAM, used both slots, uh, taken the SSD out, put a new SSD that I know worked uh, I didn't test the power supply because, well, the power supply is brand new from the box. But I'm I'm not really that concerned about the power supply working. The computer is working. It is trying to boot, so something does happen momentarily on the screen. But then nothing happens. It just remains in limbo. Everything's turned on. You can see all the lights are on. Uh, the LED for the RAM there and the CPU. Uh, there's no other LEDs in the system. They all work, the, the fans work, the fan for the GPU works, everything checks out, but nothing, no post, I've got nothing, I don't got, I, I, this motherboard doesn't come with an LED, uh, or a way to debug it, obviously, uh, I did see some posts on Reddit with some people, I don't know, basically telling me that there's a sequence of flashing lights from your power button, if your power button comes with lights, mine doesn't, so uh, yeah, all I have to do now, is well walk you guys through if you have this sort of issue what you can do uh we'll download the bios from asus we will put it on a usb stick and there's a port here on the back of the computer where we have to stick in that usb press the flash utility button and wait for well the update to take place so let's do that now so this is the website here that you have to go to uh the links is going to be down in the bio uh so we are talking about the prime b650m slash k over here, it's drivers and tools. You have BIOS and firmware. All you have to do, this is the latest one right here. If you want to see a list, there's a comprehensive list of the previous version. But always, this is the first version, the last one, I should say. And you should click on download. So this is the zip file that we have just downloaded. And we are going to extract it to the same place here. Once you open it up, you have two files in here. And as you can see, this is the BIOS renamer. So you should always start with this one. Uh, right now you have a generic prime b650m slash k asus whatever this is a cap file which is the file that you need to transfer to your usb stick but first we are going to run this and we are going to press any keys continue and after this is done as you can see the name now has changed for this cap file that we basically have to copy over to our usb drive now you go over to your usb stick you go over and format it just to make sure there's nothing on it. Click OK. Once the format is complete, go ahead and paste that cap file. And that's it. Now you're ready to, well, basically flash your BIOS. And if you take a look in the manual here, it says that basically, well, this port right here, the USB 3.0, I'm sorry, the USB 2.0 here has the, well, BIOS flashback function and is labeled as to be this one. So that would basically mean that, well, it is this one right here. So we'll plug in our USB right in there. There we go. Then we'll press the flashback button for around three seconds. And there we go. Now we see that blinking light in there. We just let it do its thing. And yeah, let's wait. This being said, let's take out the drive now and well, let's boot this guy up and see what's happening. Let's see what's happening now. Maybe we are going to go through a series of, well, boots. Ah, <laughs> there we go. 
It works. So it works. Yes. There we go. This is all you have to do. Update the BIOS. Ah, what's going on, Axis? Leave a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel. More videos somewhere up here. Be awesome and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.